it's Friday the 3rd of October 2014 and I'm at Bath Spa Station to start a walk along the Kennet and Avon Canal to Bradford on Avon. Now at the start of the Kennet and Avon Canal this is where it joins the River Avon, or meets the River Avon. Further on, there's this water coming down a lock gate. confirmation that we're on the Kennet Navan Canal and I'll be heading out of Bath along the towpath. There's another one of the Bath locks. Decent view opening up over towards parts of Bath, over to my left. And that's the towpath ahead. Good view of the canal ahead. The walk goes through Sydney Gardens. Beautiful Sydney Gardens and looking across to some of the outskirts of Bath. After Sydney Gardens, there's this great view ahead. Decent views of the outskirts of Bath on my left. And again, that's the towpath. The towpath passes the rear of the George Inn at Bathampton. And there is the towpath ahead. Just after Bathampton, the canal turns to run south. And there's another splendid canal side view. Great views over to my left. And that's the way ahead. And on the other side of the canal there's wooded slope. Now at bridge number 181 over the canal. The bridges are numbered from the other end of the canal at Reading. And under bridge number 181, on the other side, there's almost the perfect canal view. And perfect weather to go with it. Great view over to my left, and you can see the railway tracks of the Bath to Westbury line. And that's the line that stops at Bradford-on-Avon. And there is the towpath ahead. Now in a more shaded area. Sweeping views over to my left 
and that's looking back the way I've just come along the towpath. And that's the way forward along the towpath. This is Dundas Wharf and the towpath crosses to the other side of the canal here. At Dundas Wharf the Somerset Coal Canal runs into the Kennet Navon. Quite a different looking canal. Now about to cross the River Avon on the Dundas Aqueduct. This is named after the first chairman of the canal company, but it was designed by John Rene. Now actually on the aqueduct, and there's the River Avon below. And over to my right now is the railway line. After the aqueduct, the canal becomes very shaded. Now at bridge 175 over the canal. Just past Bridge 175, this great view opens up on my right. And there's the canal towpath ahead. Another beautiful shaded section of the canal. Now in a more open area of the canal. Now approaching the Avoncliff aqueduct. Now crossing the River Avon on the Avoncliff aqueduct. There's a view of the Avoncliff Aqueduct. The walk goes under this because the towpath crosses to the other side of the canal here. You can either go down these steps or there's a ramp. Looking back, there's a good view of the Avoncliff Aqueduct. That's where I've just come through. Now heading into Bradford on Avon along the Kennet and Avon Canal. And here's the Tithe Barn at Bradford on Avon. There's the towpath ahead and nearly at the end of the walk. I'm going to leave the canal towpath here to head to Bradford on Avon railway station. Now at Bradford on Avon station and the end of today's walk along the towpath of the Kennet-Navon Canal.